Rooting an Android device is not for the faint of heart. It's a technique used by experienced computer programmers and users looking to heavily customize their devices. We have to warn you that doing it can void your warranty, expose your phone to security gaps, or even brick your device. But if you really do want to root your device, here's a way to do it. First, before you root your device, make a complete backup of everything on it. Once that is done, go to the Settings menu and find the Security Controls. Scroll down and check the Unknown Sources box, which will allow you to download Towel Root and some other needed applications. Click OK to confirm. Once that's done, open the phone's browser and go to TowelRoot.com. Click on the big Lambda symbol. If you get a warning box, just click OK, and a tr.apk file will quickly download. Now go to the home screen and swipe down. You'll see the tr.apk file. You may get a warning from Google or your security software. Just go ahead and allow Towel Root to install. Now click Open. Then click Make it Rain. Depending on your phone, you may have to reboot it for Towel Root to work, or, like in this case, you may not. Next, go to the Google Play Store. Open the search box and type in Super SU. There is a free and a paid version to choose from. We used the free version. It seems to work just fine. Click Install and then Accept. Then click Open. The app will ask to update the SU binary, so hit Continue. In this dialog box, click Normal. Another dialog box will open regarding the Knox feature. Just click OK. If the device hangs up on the Knox step, that's OK. Just click the Home button and go back to the Google Play Store. This time, search for Root Checker. It should pop right up and it's free, so hit Install and then Accept. Root Check will install quickly. When it's done, click Open. A disclaimer will appear. Click Agree. If you get this Update Details box, click OK. Now click Verify Root. You'll get a super user request, so click Grant before the 10 second timer runs out. At this point, you should get a dialog saying the device is successfully rooted and you now have full root access to the device. Until you make serious changes to your device, it should continue to work normally despite being rooted.